Hello everyone, so this is going to be my nine months on tea update and apologies if you're getting this straight after the eight month one which I only uploaded like super recently because I filmed it quite late so yeah these updates are probably going to be like closer together than usual. I know I also said that I was going to do a non-tea related video between those updates and I haven't done that yet. I might still try to do that but I'm not sure with how much time that I have at the moment if I'll be able to. So apologies again for all the samey videos going on, it's kind of just how life has been lately. I do definitely plan to do some non-trans related content very soon, but I will maybe talk more about that later if I remember. We'll see. So before I get on to the update, I just want to say two things. Um, as I always do before these updates, I always have something to say first, but yes, I shaved my head. <laughs> I shaved it like three weeks ago, I think, and I will tell you more about that later in the video. Oh yeah, I also wanted to show you my shirt really quick because it's so cool. My friend Sam does like amazing art and there was this one piece of art that they made that was like my favourite out of all of their drawings. Like all of their stuff is really cool but this one really stuck with me and I said like if you ever happen to get that printed on a shirt I will absolutely buy it and that's what happened so I thought I'd like quickly show it to you I guess because it's trans related and it's really really cute. So I'm going to show it to you real quick. How cool is this? If you can see, it is someone applying tea gel in their bedroom and I just thought it was like so magical and so cool. I just like love the atmosphere of it. Putting on tea every morning really does feel so magical, even though this is at night, but still. Now, ever since I saw this drawing, I would think about it every day. It's just so cool, so. I wanted to show it to you, it's so nice. I will leave links in the description to their artwork if you want to check it out. They didn't ask me to do this or anything, they don't even know that I'm saying this, just wanted to let you know because it's like super cool, they've got some really amazing drawings and t-shirts and stuff, I'm just like so so in love with this shirt and it's so comfy too, so yeah I just wanted to tell you about that real quick. Anyway, on to the update. So I'm going to start this as usual with a moustache update because that is tradition, so I'll get up close and show you my moustache real quick. I will say that I did have someone tell me that they noticed that I was growing a moustache because they hadn't seen me in a little bit and that was like such a cool moment to finally have like someone point it out to me IRL it was really nice it was meant as like an affirming cool thing not like someone trying to insult me or anything um because that has happened before as well but that was pretty ironically <laughs> I'm excited to be getting to that point where people around me start to slowly notice little changes and stuff. It's it's really cool. It's very affirming and I was very excited when it happened and we ended up having a big conversation about beard trimmers and just facial hair in general and it was really great. So that's a moustache. Brings me so much joy and I love it. <laughs> of course next I want to talk a bit about my sideburn area which is like kind of around here which I do think is starting to like again slowly descend down my face to connect to everything else, which is very nice. I just want to comment on how absolutely fluffy my sideburns are getting. I think I kind of talked about this last time, but I just want to like reiterate again how absolutely fluffy they are. <laughs> like you can't really tell from here, but when you're looking up close and you see it against my black shirt or something, like I don't think you can see it here. I'll try to show it in another clip. But oh my god, the fluff is just, it's, it's a lot. It's still like soft peach fuzzy kind of hair, but it's, there's so much of it. And like some of the hairs are getting really long and just stick straight out and I can't do anything to like tame them or flatten them or anything. They just want to stick out wherever they want. So I'm just letting them. Again, I do think I am getting to that stage where I'll need to start shaving soon probably just because of like, how wild the peach fuzz is getting. But it looks like super fuzzy in the sunlight, especially like all the little hairs really light up and just, I just got a real fluffy face at the moment. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna show you my arm hair. I don't know how much it's changed from last month because like I filmed that so late. I just feel like the changes aren't gonna be as noticeable this month, but we're doing this anyway. So arm hair is going good. Don't know how well you can see it in this light. Also, how cute are my nails? Can I just show you those real quick? I just recently got back into painting my nails and it's been so fun. And I just forgot how much I loved like sparkles and different colors on my nails and stuff. It's just the best thing. I call these my disco nails or party nails. I don't know, they're so fun. Look at that. Okay, anyway, distracted. Anyway, so right arm hair. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know how well you can see it in this light though. It's not, it's not great, it's pretty dark out there. On the inside of my arm, like it's kind of here now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really cool. I'll try and show you in another clip if you can't see it here, but yeah, it's really cool seeing it like creep further onto the inside of my arm. So I'll also show you my tummy hair now. I actually think it hasn't changed that much from last time that I showed you, but I'll give you another clip of it anyway. So now for hair loss updates. So I have kind of a few things to say about this, but first I will tell you about my shaved head. So I shaved my head, like I said, about three weeks ago. I didn't really like shave it exactly because of hair loss stuff. Like I guess I was kind of part of it, but it was kind of a lot of different things. Mostly my hair was just really pissing me off because I just could not get the motivation to cut it and dye it myself. I just, it just kept growing and annoying me and I just still just did not have motivation to do anything about it. So I just shaved it all off to start again. And I'm kind of glad that I did that now. Like it's so nice just not having to think about my hair for a bit. Also, I have found that it helps with not counting <laughs> all the hairs that I lose every night because that was kind of becoming something that I felt like I had to do and I was worried about what would happen if I didn't do it and I was just like getting stuck in kind of these like thought loops around it so like shaving my head has really helped me break out of that because I can't count the hairs anymore because they're so short whereas when it was all coming out like when I had longer hair and I'd have these tangles of hair all over my hands every every shower that really like was one of the things that spurred that that need to count them so not having that like visual trigger either really helps so I'm, I guess I'm just gonna show you my head so firstly I just want to say I do think I am losing hair on like the temple areas because I swear like especially this side more than this side I swear it's like happening more here I do think this is more prominent than it used to be but I definitely don't mind this like I like the way that it's kind of starting to shape my face I don't know I don't mind it but this is an issue. <laughs> I think you can actually see the hair loss better on camera than in person. In person I thought it looked kind of subtle but like on camera you can really see where it's been thinning out. I do also have a cowlick here though so like the hair's going kind of different directions here versus here which also makes the changes more noticeable. This is where it's all been thinning and I think you can like really see it now that I've shaved my head. But I do have good news <laughs> about all of this, which is that I finally got my finasteride prescription. Yay! I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I had like completely lost hope in that. I just did not think it was going to happen. And I was just accepting the fact that I was going to be a great big baldy and I was going to have to like shave my head smooth all the time. And I was not feeling good about it, but I was accepting it. And I was talking to my endocrinologist like last, last week? Yeah, last week she asked how the minoxidil went and I was like, it really wasn't for me. It was really messy. I hated not being able to like touch my head the whole day and then I had to worry about it not coming in contact with my cat and everything. I don't know what else to do and I was about to say like, I've kind of just accepted it. It's whatever, I'm over it. And then she said, well, I guess we could try the finasteride. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this. So she said she usually only prescribes it if someone has been on tea for at least two years but I guess I am an exception so that's happening. I had to get a blood test first to like check my tea levels since the finasteride will be like kind of changing the levels a bit so I don't want to start taking it until the blood results come back which I've been waiting for and I was meant to find out what they were like two days ago but uh, it hasn't happened for some reason, so I don't know when I'm actually going to be able to start it, but it'll be soon-ish, like within the next month, hopefully. The next two months at the most. Also, it depends on how much it costs, though, because I heard that it's, like, pretty expensive, so I'm going to find out prices and if it's in my budget and everything, but if it is, I think I'm going to give it a go. I'm, like, 99% sure that I'm going to try it, and I'm... I'm like so relieved. I've dumped the pumpkin seeds and I'm gonna take finasteride and we're gonna see how things go. If it doesn't work then I've kind of already like gone through that stage of accepting that I may not have hair forever so it's like good news. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Just knowing that the option is there is really helpful even if I don't take it. So that is the hair loss update. Also I think I'm probably gonna keep shaving my head for a while because like 
I don't know, it's just so nice not having to think about my hair. It's like really convenient, but we'll see. I've said that before that I'd keep shaving my head and then I didn't, so. <laughs> so because of taking finasteride, I know that that can slow down some of the changes with tea, especially like facial hair and stuff. So I'm kind of wondering if when I start taking it, maybe I'll do less updates, but I'm not really sure. I'm kind of wondering like, what you guys think. I was going to keep making monthly updates until I got up to a year on tea and then I was going to make them less frequently, which I might still do because it's like I'll be one year on tea in November so it's not even that many more updates until then anyway, but if there's not much to show because the changes are already pretty subtle, being on finasteride will make them more subtle so would there be a point, like would you be able to see enough of a difference? me to keep making monthly updates. I don't know, let me know your opinion. I'm not really sure what to do, but I guess I'll just see as time goes on. Next, I'm really quickly just gonna talk about my cycle because that came early again. It's still, it's doing like the coming early, coming late thing again. So this time it came like nine or 10 days early. So I'm like kind of detecting a pattern. One month it'll come 10 days early. The next month it'll come five to 10 days late and it seems to flip between those two. I don't know how that works but it's kind of helpful seeing a pattern because then I can have a little bit more like predictability with it I guess. Last thing that I want to talk about is super super exciting but I can't like say whether it's official yet or not because I'm a little confused but I really wanted to tell you. So I think, I think <laughs> that I have got my top surgery referral which is like so 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 exciting. I've been saving up for this for ages. I think I'm probably still going to need to save up a bit more but I think I'm on track which is good. I was talking to my endocrinologist and asking about top surgery because she like knows a few surgeons and I wanted to ask about a particular one that I was thinking about and she said that like she could just refer me there if I wanted and I was like yes please that would be great. So that's what happened and I don't like, I don't know if she's done the referral yet, but she said that she would. So that's why I'm like unsure whether to say that it's actually happened yet or not, but it's happening at some point soon. So I'm like really, really happy about that. I will tell you more details around all of that when I know for sure what's going on, but I just really wanted to mention it because I'm really excited and I thought this is something that would never ever happen. So I'm like really, really psyched for this. One little thing I wanted to say about it because I'm excited about this part as well. When you get top surgery, you often have the option of whether or not you want to keep your nipples. And I'm thinking that like, I won't keep mine because I've never, I've never liked having them, this is such a weird conversation. But I know like if you don't keep them, you can have them tattooed back on if you want to. And I've seen like some trans people do really creative stuff with their nipple tats. Like some people get like smiley faces there instead of something that looks like a nipple. So I wanted to do something like that. Like I don't think it'll be smiley faces, but something kind of like that I really want to do. I think it would be really cool. I think I've decided what I want, but I don't want to say what it is yet. I want to keep it a surprise, but I just wanted to let you know all of that. And I will probably do some kind of video when all of that happens. Sorry if you can hear voices in the background. I think someone's here. I don't know what's going on, but people are talking. Anyway, I don't know how much footage that I can get for that video because I'd probably have to do it all myself, but I will do some kind of video when it happens, talking about the process, how it went, the tattoos that come along with it and all of that. So yeah, well, that's the plan anyway. But I think that's everything that I have to say. Background noise is so, so loud right now. So I'm, I'm out of here, I'm gonna skedaddle. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.